Hi there, it's Susan from SusanWinter.net. Thank you for joining me and thank you so much for coming to my channel. I have an interesting question on hot and cold and how should you handle it. This is from Peter Fagerlund and he writes, Susan, should you try to resolve an ambivalent situation that might be characterized as hot and cold by being open or are you jeopardizing the relationship by doing so? And herein, Peter, is the concern that most everybody has. What do I do with hot and cold? If I call them out, if I am open, if I am direct, they're going to run away, correct? Because an ambivalent situation means it's a lack of clarity. Confusion is a lack of information or a lack of concrete information. And this ambivalence that you're feeling is you don't know where you stand. How could you feel comfortable in this kind of relationship? Now, it's up to you. I mean, look, at, I, I know what I would suggest. I'll make my suggestion, but here's how it can play out either way. So one, you say nothing. You get to continue in whatever this is and whatever it means to you and however you interact, you interact. And you might you might find your way to some kind of clarity by leaving small breadcrumbs of what you would like, where you're going, and what you want to create. You hope that that would inspire your partner to do the same. Or you could be very honest, cut right to the chase, and tell them what you want and need, and tell them the parts of their behavior that are confusing you. Without attacking them, you can just tell them that. So here's what people fear, because uh, the latter often results in an ending. Because you know why? This ambiguity does not like being called out into clarity. It, the, these people are vague on purpose. They either don't want a relationship, they don't know what they want, they don't want to be pinned down, they're dating other people, they don't want to reveal their hand, they're just like, they're kind of lazy, they don't want to make a decision. They just want to tread water, coast, keep you going just enough so that they can yeah, figure out later what they want to do with you. So if you don't mind that, don't call them out. If you don't like that, tell the truth. See, telling the truth will end the ambiguity. All it takes is one person. One person who tells the truth breaks the spell, the veil of confusion, because now the other person has to counter or they run away. Here's what I feel. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I guess I, you asked me, so I'm going to tell you. Um, if you want a healthy and a wonderful relationship, Peter, you want somebody that you can talk to. And if you want something that makes you feel good, safe, comfortable, loved, appreciated, you want somebody that doesn't have an issue with making you feel safe, loved, appreciated. You know, somebody that wants to do that naturally. So this, you know, Easter egg hunt for who's going to be kind and what do they want and do they want it with us and where do I stand? To me, this is absolute anxiety provoking. And it's the opposite of what you want in a relationship. Now, for some people, to be honest, it's exciting. They're either bored, they like the drama, they don't know themselves, and they're treading water. And if that's who you are, then continue with the game. Because when you call out the game, the game ends. Okay? It either ends abruptly because your partner freaks out because now they've been exposed, or it fizzles out because they're trying to do the backward exit. You know? So um, I'm, as you can tell, a fan of honesty because I believe that that's the foundation of intimacy. More than that, I endorse you speaking up. I endorse you having the kind of relationship you want, where you don't need to be left in the dark, where you are speaking honestly because you value yourself, where you expect that people would treat you as you would treat them. That's what I like. So, Peter, I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for this. This is a really good question because it is, it's a struggle because people kind of know that when they cross that line, things are dramatically going to change. 
Okay, so thank you for that. Very, very important. And if any of you would like to talk to me about your issues one-on-one, -on -one, check out my consultation page. Check out, too, the Magnify app that I've been talking about. The link is below here. I have an on-demand by the minute. If you want to call me in the middle of the day, find out what I feel about a situation like this. It's a free uh, app that you can have called Magnify. It's wonderful. I might be on another call. I might be with a client. I might be in an interview, but I, I'm allotted to be online X amount of hours every day. So there's a pretty good chance you'll get a hold of me. Thank you so much for your questions. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Peter, and my best to all of you. Bye-bye now.